Keep your heaven. Keep your f paradise. It is better to reign in hell than it is to serve in heaven. Goggins is always asking, who's gonna carry the logs? I'm gonna carry the Who's carrying the logs? And welcome back to your favorite channel on YouTube, Cult Strength, with me, the most studly and buff man on the internet. Now, if you want a second opinion on this, please drop a comment and I'll be sure to get back to you and let you know exactly how it is, baby. Tonight, we've got some heavy Zercher squats, five plates aside, we are chasing that pain. We are going to f hell tonight, baby, into the deepest circles of hell, because that is where you find out exactly what you are made of. That is where you find out what you are capable of, what you've got deep down and let me tell you right now keep your heaven keep your f paradise because it is better to reign in hell than it is to serve in heaven <laughs> you know what's up baby so strap in we got some heavy searcher squats let's go baby Two hundred kilos. Last warm up. Smoke that. Shit. Now it feels a little bit heavier than it looks because it looks easy. But at the end of the day, I'm confident, feeling strong, feeling better than last week. Going into these top sets, it is time to load up five plates. Two hundred and twenty kilos. My best effort with this weight is one rep. I've tried it a few times. I wanted a double last time. I couldn't get it. So let's see what we're made of today, baby. Let me tell you right now. I've been putting the work in, and I'm. Hungry, and I am ready to eat. Oh, baby, let's go. I hope you enjoy this. Shit.
Steve Goggins is always asking, who's going to carry the logs? I've got an answer for you, Steve. It's not going to be me, champion. I'm going to carry the Who's carrying the logs? And there we f have it, man. 220 kilos for two doubles. And I had the f death wobbles. I had the death shakes. If you see those third reps, my whole body was f trembling. I was holding on for dear life. Gave it everything I had. On the way down on those third reps, I could not get the oxygen in. And <laughs> honestly, I went black. Uh, it is what it is. You know, that's what happens when you lift heavy weights and you do these movements. It's hard, but at the end of the day, I just got to get stronger. I got to get stronger because if I'm stronger, that shit's not going to feel as heavy. And I know it's an awkward movement and I can sit here and go, ah, blah, 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 blah. But at the end of the day, I'm going to be stronger. Because I want to hit 300 kilos with this I got some goals, baby. That is a huge Zercher squat. That's what I want. So I'm not going to sit here and make excuses about 220. It's a huge PB. But I want more, and I'm not satisfied yet. We can tick it off, I'm happy tonight, but you know I want more. So I backed that down with 180 kilos for a set of eight, that is two more than I did two weeks ago, and it felt lovely. Progress is coming, I'm feeling strong as and I'm loving it. But that was not punishment enough, so I got creative, and we decided to do some sort of weird hybrid RDL good morning, Zercher off the f racks and it sucked dick. But in the best way possible. No homo or whatever. I hope you enjoy this sh You gotta give this a try. Let's go.
and that is the session done. Now, that may seem like a very unreasonable amount of pain and suffering, but let me tell you right now, when you have goals as big as mine, the more pain and the more suffering you can inflict upon yourself in the gym, baby, oh, you're gonna reach those goals a lot faster. Let me tell you right now, we live for this shit. We love this shit. Death wobbles tonight. Those third reps on those zurches were shaking me to my core. I could not even control my body. Lost it. But you just dig in and you go for it. Didn't work out that well. I didn't die. I kind of passed out a little bit. Just went, Pfft. But we leave it all in the gym. And we we practice toughness. Guys, that's what it is. You practice toughness. You want to become tough? You want to be hard? Well, act like it. Dead set, just act like it. Do things that hurt and enjoy it. Make it a lifestyle. Because when life throws things at you that you're not ready for and they hurt, well, guess who's going to be ready? You're going to be ready because you didn't sit there taking it easy, taking the easy road. No, you choose discomfort and you choose pain because you are prepared and you know that no matter what comes your way, you are going to own it. That's what this is about. Building toughness, building resilience, mental toughness. I'm so sick of all the pussies with their excuses. And I'm sure you are too. I'm sick to death of it because I know what people are capable of. You're not as soft as you think. You are not frail and you are not broken. You are capable and it's about time you realize that. Yes, that's why I'm here. Here to remind you. I'm the devil on your shoulder. But I got your best interests at heart, baby. It is what it is. I hope you enjoyed this. You know I'm going to be back soon. But for now, I'm going to go home, eat up, and get ready for the next one. I love this. I live for it. I appreciate you guys. And you know what the f do? Get your m to the gym.